This video is going to take a trip down the past of Warzone metas and letting you know which ones were actually the best and most fun to play with. If you do enjoy this style of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we're trying to reach our goal of 50k subscribers. Click that link in the description down below and subscribe to our second channel as well. But as I said, what we have here is pretty much every single meta weapon that was pretty much at the top of its meta at the time. And we're going to be going through these as if it was the extreme meta build of that weapon and we do have the most fun we have relatively fun we have meh which is ones i don't really care about too much and guns are when they were meta they just weren't fun to use even though they were meta weapons so the most fun would be ones that i really enjoyed using and obviously this is going to be my personal list and what i actually enjoy so starting off with the metas, we have the Amax. Now keep in mind, this is when it was originally like the most meta uh, back on Verdanks. And I thought the Amax was extremely fun to use. I still like this gun now, and I still think it's a pretty solid gun. But when it was the meta for Warzone, I really enjoyed using it because there was still a skill gap to the Amax because there was a lot of recoil on this gun. And once you learned how to control it, you were heavily rewarded with fast TTKs and this gun hit super hard at long range. The bullet velocity was balanced out a little bit because it wasn't as fast as some of the other weapons. So even though it was an extremely powerful meta weapon, um, it still wasn't like extremely broken in my opinion. Automaton meta, so this is when the new Pacific map came into play. The Automaton kind of took the meta because it didn't have a lot of that weapon bloom. Plus it fired really quickly and it was low recoil. Um, to be honest, the Automaton meta, I, it was kind of meh. I didn't really use it. I didn't really care for it to be perfectly honest. It was a meta gun. I did use it for a while just because it was the only weapon to use at the time. Then we have the Bren. Now, in my personal opinion, I do not like the Bren meta. I just don't think it's fun. Um, even though it doesn't have any damage drop off, it's a super powerful gun, it's low recoil, it's got all the kind of good things you want uh, from a meta weapon. I just, I don't find it fun at all. It's really slow movement, which is probably something I hate the most about this gun. Then we have the Bruin. Now, I'm not a huge fan of LMG metas, but when the Bruin came about, it actually was pretty fun. It was low recoil. Um, it didn't quite hit as hard as the Bren, and the Bren kind of just takes over absolutely everything. Other weapons were still in play when the Bruin was the meta weapon. Plus, you got that 60 round mags, which made the gun feel a lot more more like an assault rifle. And maybe that's why I enjoyed it a bit more. So, the Bruin was a fun meta to use, in my opinion. I did enjoy using it. Then with the Bullfrog meta for a bit, once other SMGs and stuff took a nerf. Um, to be fair, I think everyone can agree for the most part that it was pretty meh. Even though it was low recoil, there wasn't anything special about this weapon. It was a good gun and obviously it was the main SMG at the time, but it wasn't anything special at all. Then we have the C58 meta and I don't really remember this one all too much, to be perfectly honest. I just seen it um, and thought the C58 was a meta weapon for a while. Then we have the Cold War AK-47 and I do think this gun is really fun to use as well. Currently it is one of the top weapons um, and it was meta for a little bit of time. Um, it wasn't too long and I wish it was a little bit longer it was meta for, but again, a really fun meta to use. Kind of the same reasons of the Amax because it's got high recoil. If you did control it, you're rewarded heavily for a fast TTK. Plus an AK-47 is just a very, very popular weapon in general and people love using one of those. So then we've got the Cold War Aug and this is the burst meta. And with the burst metas, I didn't really enjoy it to be perfectly honest with you. Usually I do like burst weapons uh, for the most part. Uh, but the burst meta wasn't really that fun, if I'm being perfectly honest. Next up we have the Cold War MP5, and most people probably will not agree with this one, but I actually found the Cold War MP5 really fun when it was the meta weapon. Now this is when the Modern Warfare MP5 took a nerf, um, and there wasn't any other fastest killing SMGs, and this was the fastest killing SMG in Warzone for a little bit of time. Um, and I did really enjoy it for similar reasons to the AK and the Amex because it had a lot of recoil, had a bit of a skill gap, but if you did learn how to use it and you used it to its advantages, then you were going to do extremely well with this gun because it was only a close range weapon. You could not use it in that medium range. DMR meta, now the DMR one is something that I think most people can agree on. I absolutely hate the DMR meta. It was probably one of the worst ones, like two tapping most people at ridiculous ranges. Um, everyone can remember this one, um, but it just was not fun at all in my opinion. I did not enjoy the DMR meta, even though I've dropped the highest kill games during the DMR meta, um, I did not enjoy it at all. A Kimball double barrel shotguns, this is relatively recent with the Pacific update. Um, the Kimball double barrel shotguns weren't really a fun meta in my opinion either. Any shotgun metas I don't really find all that fun. 
Um, so I'm going to put that down at the very bottom. Being able to like one tap someone at close range just makes it not fun at all. EM2, I mean, the EM2 was kind of a little bit meta for a while. Now, even though it's kind of similar to the AMAX and the Cold War AK-47 in terms of recoil and then being rewarded with the TTKs when you control the recoil, I feel like it was, wasn't as fun as the AMAX and the Cold War AK. I don't know if it's just the timing of when the weapon came out. Uh, then the FAL SMG, now this is when the um, SMG FAL build was going around and everyone wanted to have the fastest trigger finger and when you fired it really quickly you got an insanely fast TTK. I don't really like it, uh, to be perfectly honest, it's kind of meh. I don't think it's as bad as these ones down at the bottom here, I don't hate it too much. Next up we have the SMG FFAR, and that is when it was fully meta, when it was ground loot, it had the 25 round mags, and everyone was using it as ground loot as an SMG, and then we started using it as an SMG paired with like, even the uh, Cold War AUG, we were pairing it with all sorts of weapons, and it was basically the go-to SMG weapon to use because it had a super fast TTK. Now, I enjoyed that meta a lot, I thought it was really fun, um, and they kind of nerfed the ADS time on this weapon and of course the TTK because it was absolutely insane, um, but they should bring back a little bit quicker ADS into this weapon because I think it still can be really fun to use and I really enjoyed using the SMG FFAR FR5.6 shotgun uh, or 5.56 shotgun uh, when it was a one shot, it broke through armor plates, it broke through everything and it got pretty much nerfed like the next day. Um, but it was absolutely broken when it came out and to be perfectly honest again I'm not a huge fan of shotgun metas and didn't find it fun. Then we had the Gallo now even though I don't really like shotgun metas I actually found the Gallo being pretty okay when it was the meta weapon. For a small portion of time it was the best close range gun to use inside Warzone um, and to be perfectly honest I didn't think it was like completely broken because uh, you still had to spam a couple of shots out of it but I did think it was an okay meta. I found it relatively fun and I was actually advocating the Gallo shotgun for a while. If I had to put it anywhere, it would be way off this list um, for the most fun. The Grow meta was probably the best meta. I don't know if this is nostalgic or whatever it is, but when the Grow is meta, Warzone was at its best. And that is why this gun has to be at the most fun. Warzone was the most fun when it dropped and the Grow was probably one of the first DLC weapons. Um, and it was just absolutely insanely fun uh, to play Warzone at that time. And that is why the Grow has got to be one of the best weapons when it comes to most fun metas. We've got the HDR, and the HDR, in my opinion, even though it was probably the sniper rifle to go to, it wasn't like extremely fun to use. Uh, it was just the best sniper at the time, but that's just because we didn't have a lot of options. And plus, we didn't really discover uh, the Car 98K at that point. So everyone was running the HDR for long range using like thermal scopes and stuff. Yeah, then we've got the Jack 12, again, a shotgun meta, which I can't really put that high up on the list. Plus, it's fully automatic. Um, it was pretty much broken when it came out, then it got nerfed shortly after that. Modern Warfare car meta, um, again, relatively fun. I'm not a huge sniper fan, so I can't really put the snipers at the top of the list. To be honest, it is one of the more fun weapons. I'd put it slightly higher than the HDR, um, but I'm not a huge sniper fan. Uh, but it's definitely a fun meta to use overall. Kilo, again, is one of the ones I found pretty meh. I didn't really like the Kilo meta, I just thought it was kind of boring. Again, it's a low recoil gun, didn't really hit very hard. Very similar to the Automaton in my opinion. Next up we have the Krig meta, now even though this is similar to the Kilo and it has a low recoil meta, which is basically the same as the Kilo, um, I did find it kind of fun to be honest. At the time of when this became meta, I think a lot of the other guns were just not feeling as good and the Krig kind of just took that spot. And the fact that you can make it for a little bit of faster ADS time, um, and even still being a good long range weapon, I think it was uh, a good weapon for its time. So I did enjoy the Krig meta. M4A1, this is like way back, way, way, way back at the start. But back then, it was the main meta weapon to go for. And it was really fun to use the M4. It's still really fun to use the M4. And I still enjoy using this gun till this day. Their Mac 10, when the Mac 10 blueprint was broken, it was one of the most fun SMGs to use. It had insanely fast movement speeds, it had clean iron sights, it had a ridiculously fast TTK, and I love fast TTKs for close range weapons. That's the kind of guns I like, so the MAC-10 has to be up there. MG82 was kind of meh as well. Um, it was basically meta for a short time because it had not very much recoil and the TTKs were insanely fast. It still was an LMG, but to be perfectly honest, it did move a little bit quicker than the other ones because it was a Cold War LMG, so definitely a solid gun still. Milano, the Milano got a buff eventually, um, and to be fair, I hated the Milano for such a long time, but when it got the buff and became probably the most dominant SMG in Warzone, 
Um, it was actually pretty fun to use, to be perfectly honest, because it worked as a really good sniper support. Uh, and at the time, there wasn't really many of them. So Milano, definitely solid. MP40, I actually really like the MP40 meta. I actually think it's really fun to use the MP40 when it was meta. It's not really the meta anymore. Uh, but when Pacific Update came out, the MP40 was the go-to SMG, and to be perfectly honest, I really did like this gun. Uh, MP7, MP7 was fun. Uh, again, back at the similar time as the M4A1, the MP7 was the best sniper support. Um, definitely a solid gun still now, but definitely way better uh, back at the start of Warzone. Modern Warfare MP5 has to be up there, man. Modern Warfare MP5 is probably my favorite gun to use of all time inside Warzone because you get the fast movement, you get the fast TTK, you got absolutely everything you wanted out of an SMG and the Modern Warfare MP5 just absolutely did all of that. All of my memories of getting close range kills were from the Modern Warfare MP5. Origin Shotgun, again shotgun metas are not really my favourite but I thought the Origin Shotgun was pretty meh when you use the Dragon Breath rounds and all that kind of stuff because it was pretty fun to try out something different. Basically it was like a, a burst firing shotgun to an extent. Um, which is like a double shot shotgun. So it was pretty fun. It was something slightly different. But again, not my favorite um, meta that was in the game. Then we've got the OTS-9. And the OTS-9, even though I like SMG metas and it should be kind of higher up on this list for me, I thought it was pretty meh at the timing of it um, and everything like that. I just didn't think it was like the best weapon I've ever used. Uh, I did use it still, of course, because it was meta and it was the best SMG, but it wasn't fun to use the weapon at the time. Akimbo Renetis, again, it was kind of meh for me. I'm not a huge fan of Akimbo burst weapons. Um, so Akimbo Renetis were definitely, when they were meta, they were really good weapons, of course. Uh, Akimbo Snake Shots, when they were used at the start of Warzone with the Grau, best combination of weapons ever uh, to be in Warzone. So Akimbo Snake Shots, when they were in the game and they were meta, they were absolutely amazing and I really enjoyed using them. Now, I'm not a huge shotgun fan, like I said, but these were fun. The Swiss, the Swiss, again, is fun. Uh, just as fun as the Carnet EK to me. Not really much different to that one, so there's not really much I need to say here. Uh, Akimbo Psychovs. Now, I found the Akimbo Psychovs extremely fun when they were ridiculously broken. Uh, fully automatic secondary weapons for me are absolutely fun to use. Um, and just having an 80 round drum mag in both guns, having 160 or 120 rounds, uh, and just basically barrel stuffing people and just firing rapidly in their face was just absolutely fun to do. Uh, now, on Rebirth, it was just absolutely broken. Um, and it was broken on Verdanks too, but like I said, I just found it really fun. Akimbo Top Breaks, when they had basically the snake shot ammo, found them pretty fun to use as well. This was at the start of the Pacific update, so they basically were the new versions of the snake shot pistols. Uh, again, I did find them really fun to play with, very similarly to the snake shots. Then we've got the Vanguard PPSH, and this is that hip fire build that everyone was using very recently uh, with that high damage profile. And I found it pretty fun. I just don't like not being able to aim down sights with my SMG, so that's probably why it wouldn't be higher up on the list. But definitely a fun meta in my opinion, something slightly different to what we're used to. Hit firing only, and it was going to kill people really, really quickly. So, and it did have its disadvantages because at longer ranges, you could still kill people with this gun, obviously. It's just that it dominated the close range. Uh, then we've got the well gun, which is kind of the meta right now. And to be honest, as an SMG meta, similar to the OTS-9, I find it pretty meh. Even though it's probably the best SMG in the game right now, um, I just don't find it fun to use. The ADS is a bit slow on it as well, uh, which is why I don't really like it all that much. So then the XM4 is one of the most fun metas I liked. Now, it's a great long range gun, and for a short period of time, it was one of the best close range weapons to use as well. If you built it as an SMG, it worked extremely well too. And I really loved using it with a Raider stock build. You could strafe really quickly. Um, you could pretty much build it in many different ways. And it worked as the most versatile weapon in Warzone, in my opinion. Um, but now, again, it's been a bit nerfed with that next shot multiplier. They, they increased the recoil on the gun as well. So there we have it. Those are all the past meta weapons inside Warzone ranked from the most fun to the least fun, in my opinion. If you want to access this tier list, I'll leave a link down in the description down below. You can send us screenshots over on Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and subscribe to our second channel. And thank you very much for watching.